merchant shipping in the Atlantic is safer, the terrific strain on the Allied navies has been eased by the new agreement with Portugal. This arises out of a treaty made with that country 600 years ago, in 1373. A pleasant contrast to the kind of treaty that Germans make and break in six months. The Navy and the Royal Air Force have been gradually winning the Battle of the Atlantic against the U-boat. Now moving in to use their new facilities in the Azores off the coast of Portugal, another major blow is struck by the United Nations for complete victory. We are privileged to show the following record of what is in itself a major victory, though not a shot is fired. The arrival of men, machines and stores in the Azores. In command of all British forces is Air Vice Marshal Bromwich, CB, one of the successful leaders in the air war against the submarine. They'll find it a pleasant, sunshiny place, quiet, pious and peaceful. Part of the empire of Britain's oldest ally, party to the oldest treaty of alliance in the world. Neutral, but a firm friend of Britain. The dreamy backwater atmosphere is strangely disturbed by the tremendous activity on the quay. Sappers, civilian unloading companies and men of the Royal Air Force Regiment join in the work of getting our war material ashore and getting it ready for action. Wireless and necessary telephone communications were quickly established. In fact, the whole organization was in working order in less than two days. And although the Air Force flag is flying, it is not in any sense an occupation. All our men will be withdrawn at the end of the war. Our presence here is an act of courtesy by the Portuguese government. It's good to see how swiftly we get to work these days. Mechanical laborers and men work wonders in expanding the airfield and preparing the landing grounds for the giants who will fly for coastal command. They need great strips of level takeoffs, these giants like fortresses and Hudsons. A strange disturbance in these islands the arrival of a great fighting machine and all its modern complications. They form a strange contrast as they jostle in the narrow country roads with ox wagons and goat carts. But there was a smiling welcome from every islander. with the custom of Portugal that is also an arena for bullfighting. And the cooperation shown by the Portuguese government extended down to the simple business of doing the washing. Work went on day and night, and a little town of tents sprang up on what had previously been a stretch of wasteland. In record time, the aerodrome was ready for the arrival of the heavies. the big patrol planes came in, the hunters and the slayers of the U-boat. Transport command of the Royal Air Force is also catered for in the Azores, a new staging post which forms a mid-Atlantic link between the New World and the Old. Coastal command are now well into their stride in the Atlantic battle from this new point of vantage. Fortresses sank a U-boat within two weeks of their arrival. From these islands off the coast of Portugal, Allied planes can cover another million square miles of sea. 
Hitler and his submarine captains are now losing more ships than they are sinking in our convoys. There couldn't be much better news than that.